हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट टेक्सोनॉमिक एक्ट्स टू सिंप्लीफाई द स्टडी ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू कन्वीनियंट कैटेगरीज बेस्ड ऑन देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स नोन एज टेक्सोनॉमी बायोलॉजिस्ट हैव डेवलप मैनी मैथड्स एंड टेक्निक्स दैट हेल्प इन टेक्सोनॉमिक स्टडीज नोन एज टेक्सोनॉमिक एक्ट्स इट इंक्लूड्स हर्बेरियम बोटेनिकल गार्डन्स म्यूजियम्स and zoological parks here we start with herbarium herbarium is the storage house of well dried and nicely preserved plant specimens which are correctly identified and classified the plant specimens are usually pressed dried and mounted on sheet called herbarium sheet this is a herbarium sheet upon which pressed and dried plant specimens are mounted some plant specimens are not suitable for pressing and mounting like fruits sheets etc are either preserved in 2.5% formalin or dried and stored in large containers here is the importance of herbarium it provide reference material for taxonomical research and help in training of students in botanical studies next is botanical gardens in the specialized garden having varieties of plants grown under suitable condition for identification scientific and educational purpose It is important for keeping record of local plant flora providing needs and live plant material for different botanical research and growing and maintaining rare and endangered plants there are more than 500 botanical gardens in various countries of the world for example royal botanical garden of kiwi england it is the largest botanical garden of the world few well known botanical garden of india are indian botanical garden of havda and national botanical research institute of lucknow here is the importance of botanical garden botanical garden act as research stations to carry out studies on native flora and flora of other regions it keep records of local flora and sites of collection of living plant materials for educational and scientific studies next is museum museum is a kind of institute of exhibition of artistic and educational materials museum have collection of preserved plant and animal specimens for study and reference collection includes plant and animal specimens animal specimens like worms insects fishes reptiles etc are kept in suitable preservation in insects after drying mounted in box large animals like mammals are usually stuffed and preserved here is the importance of museum specimens are preserved for longer duration in the museum the specimens are correctly identified labeled classified and stored for future reference and taxonomical studies next is zoological park zoological parks are man made place for wild animals to provide natural and suitable habitat under human care which helps us to understand their food habits and behavior here is the importance of zoological park zoological parks informs about mode of living feeding habits and behavior of wild animals visit to zoo are source of excitation and enjoyment for children this is all about taxonomic cats thank you